I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Alex drawer unit. In this case, we have the five drawer units here, two small drawers on the top and three bigger drawers at the bottom. Let's put it together. And you're getting one box with this IKEA Alex drawer unit. I'm going to open it all up quickly just for you to see how much stuff you're getting. But don't worry, we're going to go one by one through all the stuff. We have one bag of screws. I like to organize them so I know what better what I'm working with. Get one Allen key there. This is all the screws. And now we're going to position the side panels this way. There is difference between the rail. At the bottom we have the bigger uh, drawers on the top smaller one. You're going to have those six holes and you're going to put those six screws into them. This is the side panels, inner side and it's three screws on one side. Go just till the stopper, not deeper, not higher. That's what I'm referring to as a stopper. Go all the way in, but not deeper, not higher. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem to connect the back panel. And exactly the same on the other side. Three screws, one on each side, one on the middle. Now we're going to have these locks and we're going to place them in. The arrow on the lock going to point to the hole at the front. That's going to apply to all of these locks. So this is the rule arrow pointing to the front hole on the edge. Three on each side. So that's six per panel. Exactly the same here. Second panel. Three locks on this side. The arrow on the lock pointing to the front hole. Place them in all the way down. If you twist the lock to the left, right or on the other side, you're not going to be able to lock the panels. You're just going to have a headache when you're going to uh, put the back panel in or the top or bottom panel in this case. And it's a frustrating situation when you have everything together and it doesn't go together. You're going to need those wooden plugs now and it's going to be two on each side. Place them in, secure it with hammer and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Two wooden plugs on each side panel. And the last two wooden plugs on this side of the side panel. Now we're gonna do the back panel. So this is the one here. It has uh, six holes on one side. On the other side is plain without the holes. You need wooden plugs. Two wooden plugs on each longer side of this back panel. Place them in and secure it with a hammer. See the other side is plain. Now we're gonna need locks. Exactly the same as for side panel and same rule, arrow pointing to the hole on the edge. Place them in, three on each side. Back panel is ready. The six holes are on the inner side and we're going to connect it with the side panel. Connect this back panel with the side panel, find the right hole, stop it in and secure it by twisting the locks to the right side. Exactly the same here with the second side panel. Place it in, find the right holes, tap it in, and we're going to secure those other three locks by twisting them to the right side once the gap between the side and back panel is reduced to nothing. This electric screwdriver is extremely useful, have an adjustable torque, so I never overrun the locks or screws. So you can just adjust how hard you want to go on the screws. If you like to see what I'm using, all the links for the tools are in the descriptions. Now we have two options. In our case, this is freestanding unit. So this panel is going to be bottom panel. We have those four holes on each side and four small holes on each corner of the bottom panel, bottom side, if you're going to use the wheels or the legs. So this is going to be the bottom panel for us, but there is going to be option if you going to put the tabletop on top of this, you would use it as a top panel. But in our case, top panel is this one, one side plane and one side the two lines of holes on the longer sides. I'm going to explain more that in the moment. You're going to use those screws and we're going to place them in the top panel. That's one. That's the one with the two lines of holes, the other side is plain. Just secure three of them in, one on each side, one on the middle, and go just till the stopper, not deeper, not higher. 
this unit we're going to use as a freestanding unit. You can put them on the wheel or on the legs. If you're going to use it differently, that could be as a leg for the tabletop. We would use this one as a top panel, but in our case, this is a bottom panel. So that's the four holes in the corners for the legs or the wheels. But in our case, we're going to put on the other side another six screws, three on each side, because for us, this is going to be the bottom panel of the freestanding unit. So if you're going to use it as a top panel for the tabletop, it's going to be different. Now, bigger drawer at the bottom, smaller drawer on the top. You see the size difference here. So this is for the bigger drawers. This is for the smaller drawer. Where is the smaller is the top, whereas the bigger drawer is the bottom. Now, this is going to be our bottom panel. Here I'm going to explain more in detail, you have it in instructions, so we have, we're have we going to use it, this Alex drawers, as a freestanding unit. So in this case, that panel is at the bottom. If you're going to use it as a leg for the tabletop, this panel is going to come on the top, and you have those four holes on the middle, which you're going to put the screws through under this panel to the tabletop. You have it here, so those screws would go right there to secure the tabletop but in our case i'm just going to take them out we're going to use this panel as a bottom panel not as a top panel as we're not going to use it the, uh, as a desk so we have this option here that's freestanding unit i hope that's clear enough so we're going to put this as a bottom panel for our freestanding unit secure it in in the side panels tap it all the way once there is no gap on either side you can secure the locks. It's three locks on each side. Secure the connection by twisting all the locks to the right side. Another three on the other side. Now we're gonna have the top panel. In this case, this is the one, one with the holes on each longer side, one plane on the top. This is the option for us, freestanding unit and that's gonna go right on the top. Secure all six locks, three on each side. Would be easier if you have uh, the same rail, so you would just turn the unit upside down if the, all the drawers would match with the measurements, but in this case we have different rails here, so you need to put the bottom and the top in a correct position. Now we have those four holes, but in this case we're not going to have a wheels, we're just going to have those legs, which is not very practical to be honest, it's just have a small sticker there and we're going to stick them in the in the last hole, which is closest to the corner. I think it's two by two centimeters from the side, that's how far it should be. So I'm just going to go with the last hole here and stick it over it. Those legs coming off uh, quite easily. I think it's more practical to have this unit on the wheels so you can move it around your office or the room freely. But we have those uh, legs, so that's what we're working with. Now I'm gonna show you the drawer. So you have one bigger, one smaller one. I'm gonna do the bigger one first. So that's what, you, what you're gonna need. Two side panels, one front panel, one back panel, one bottom panel, one side wide, one side plain. Those screws, plastic plugs, locks. Now, side panels, you have those gaps at the bottom and on the sides. Those holes, one is left, one is right. Now we're gonna place the locks. Those are slightly smaller than the ones for the main frame, but the same thing applied, arrow pointing to the front hole and push it, push the locks all the way in. Now the front panel, you're gonna have four screws, same type as for the main frame. Secure them in just till the stopper, not deeper, not higher. I'm gonna show you one small one as well after this one. This is slightly different, so I'm gonna show you both of them and then the rest you can do it. Here is the gaps at the bottom of the front panel and the side panel. They're gonna line up. Secure the locks once you put the side panel in. Exactly the same on the other side, gaps lining up, place the panel in, tap it all the way down and secure the locks by twisting them to the right side. Now we're going to have the back panel. The back panel is 
is square on one side and have kind of cut on the other side. The cut coming in and the white part is on the inner side. So you can see it here on the other side is plain. Place it all the way down so the gaps pop in completely. And that's how much you're going to left on the top. Now the back panel coming in into the bottom panel and the side panels. There's the gaps for all sides, all three sides. This is how it's supposed to look from one side and the other one. And now we can secure the back panel with the side panels with those plastic plugs. Just place them in and secure them with the hammer all the way in. And this is the bigger drawer. Now I'm going to show you the smaller one is slightly different than the big one. So front panel, two side panels, they slightly slimmer, one back panel and one bottom panel. Locks, screws, plastic plugs, and smaller screws. You're going to have two holes here, different size. So go to the smaller one with the two screws, one on each side. Now the side panels place two wooden plugs, one for each of them. And it's the smaller hole. Two locks, one on each side panel, arrow pointing to the front. Push it all the way down and now you have the front panel, the side panels coming in, the gaps lining up on the side panel with the front panel. Exactly the same on the other side. Place it in and secure the locks by twisting them to the right side. Same here, gaps on the side which is going down and place it between the lines on the sides and slide it all the way down. Once it's all the way down, you can put the back panel, slide it in between the gaps on the side panels and the back panel and secure it with two plastic plugs on each side. The side exactly the same, two plastic plugs and you have the smaller drawer already as well. Now this is the bigger and the smaller one. So the bigger ones, they go at the bottom, smaller one on the top. This smaller screw is going to secure them in the rails and just slide the drawer in all the way in and you should be right on the hole. Sometimes when you put, pull it out, the rail coming out already, but the, this is the correct position when the rail touching the front. Then you write on the hole where you want to be. Exactly the same on the other side. Rails touching the front panel and like that you can push it all the way in and those two small screws can come in and secure the drawer from the side panel to the rail. So the drawer is not going to pop out. That's just the kind of blocking system. Second option you have, you can pull the rails out, slide it between, go all the way in. So you're in the right position right now. And now you can secure the drawer with those two screws, one on each side. Just place them in, go through the side panel to the rail. Do exactly the same with all of them. So you have three bigger drawers uh, at the bottom and you're going to have two smaller drawers on the top. Just a smaller drawer you have to slide it in and then slide it out entitled to put the uh, screws on each side. All the rest you can do it just like that just by pushing the drawer completely in. And that's the last one. So this one you're going to have to slide in because you're not going to have access uh, through the top. Slide it in, open it up, make sure the rail is touching the front panel completely. So you're in the right position and then you can access the holes from the top while the drawers open and secure it on each side with the two screws. And this is it. And this is how you assemble IKEA Alex freestanding unit. Hope you enjoyed. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always. It will make my day and see you in my next one very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day.